What's up, pokey tubers and viewers? Welcome back to the Personal Pokedex channel. Today, we are going over our PSA submission. We're about 500 cards, mostly Wizard of the Coast Hollows. I accidentally went ahead and sleeved these up and rubber banded them and put them in order for almost forgot to make the video. Then we went to the store, I went to buy rubber bands, forgot to get the rubber bands, the one thing I went for. So I'm gonna take these apart. But just to show anybody who's not familiar with sending the PSA, what they've instructed you to do is take your, your sleeves, group them up in like 25 to 50, depending on how many you have, cut out two pieces of cardboard to put on each side, and rubber band them together. I do two vertical bands and like two horizontal bands, and I double the horizontal ones to make like an X shape. And then I label them by number. So this is set one, which would follow the order of the PSA form. So I'm going to undo these and go through them. They are mostly in chronological order, except a few at the end that I added after I did all the work, which will just be whatever order. So. so to start off, we have Alex Sam base set. Charizard, we got two of those. Clefairy. Gyarados. Mewtwo. Mewtwo. Polyrath. A lot of Polyrath. Raichu. Venusaurus. These Pikachus here are E3 promos. I threw those in the back of the base set area. And then what I did here, I just went right to base set too, because it's similar naming convention on the PSA website. We've got Blastoids, Chansey, Clefairy. Magneton, Mewtwo, Ninetales, bunch of those Ninetales, skip all through those, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, Polyrath, and that is all of square one, now on the square two, a little bit bigger, I try to like cut them off by set, um, but sometimes it's not always feasible. So this, like I said, this continues base set two with Raichu, bunch of Venusaurs, how they stick together, Wiggly Tough, Zapdos, some Snorlaxes, non-hollows. Now we're moving on to Jungle Electrode, Jolteon, Mr. Mime, Pidgeot, non-symbol, Error. Seems to be a popular always non-symbol of Jungle. Vaporeon, Jolteon, non-hollow, some Snorlaxes. Now we're on the Fossil, Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl, Articuno, Dragonite. Hard to get those now, that's only one right there. Gengar, we have quite a few of those. Always popular. Haunter. Kabutops. Lapras. Magneton. Muck. Don't like sending a lot of muck. Dragonite non hollows. Gengar non hollows. Almost nearly the same as we have hollows. Magneton. Which I think one of the Magnetons in here was first edition. I missed it. Raichu. Now on the rocket, Dark Alakazam. Dark Arbok. That's 
block number two of eight, which two are like unblocked. So far I didn't, like I said, I ran out of rubber bands, so I didn't put them in these. It doesn't take very long, just use your leftover shipping boxes and cut out your cardboard. So continuing with Team Rocket, we got Blastoids. Sending all the hollows of Blastoids. We got Dark Charizard. Been an easy sell lately. Hard to get the hollows now on graded. Got quite a few of those. Doug, Dark Joke Trio. Dark Gyarados. Dark Machamp. A couple Weezings that look real nice. Rocket Sneak Attack, which this one's in a different order, but this is first edition. Here comes Team Rocket. Dark Blastoise non hollows. Dark Charizard non hollow. Then your Dark Raichu Secret Rare. On the Gym, which for the Gym sets, Gym Hero, Gym Challenge, I'm sending all those. Even though some might get sevens, it might not be as high tier, but it seems to be really in demand right now, the gym sets. We got Brock's Ride on, and a lot of these I had in Near Mint already, but I had had so many, and they weren't like really selling what I thought they were worth. So I was holding on to the ungraded cards, and now I'm sending them. So more Brock's Ride on. Erica's Cafe Bowl. Vile Plume. Electra Buzz, I think there's like 10 of these near mint. And Magneton, so that's block number three. On the block four, this one's a little bit smaller. It's probably the rest of the gym challenge stuff. So I'll probably be sending this out tomorrow it says PSA right now that will do their high volume. They're, they said it's going to take three to four weeks for them to even put it in their system. So you're talking by the time we get these back, it might be six months. But lucky they don't charge you to, to the end. When they go to send them back, the day they ship them to you is the day they charge. Just in case you're thinking about sending. Dark Magneton, or Lieutenant Surge Magneton. Quite a few of those, actually. Mishy Cedra. Tentacool. Rocket Sigma Chan, one of the underrated hollows from the set. Scyther, which is definitely not an underrated hollow. People love that one. Seems to be on the higher end of the GM Heroes hollows for, for sale out there, ungraded. Um, Rocket's Trap. And then some non hollows that I had. Some minty ones that I might have pulled. Rocket Snorlax. Quite a few of those favorites from the set. And then. One trainer, Erica. So that's block number four. We're averaging about two minutes per block on our pace. Today is Memorial Day, so you can figure out how long, how old this video is when you see it. Next, we're moving into the Neo block, which you know has always been higher. And value and more coveted in a lot of cases. A lot of Neogenesis, I always get those sheep hollows from there, but we got Ampharos. Bunch of that one. No Lugia, sadly, this time in this set. For Alligator, that one of that art, I think I like this one better, but you know, there's two art hollows in this. We got three of the other. Jump Pluff. There is your Kingdra. Happen to have a lot of nice minty Kingdras to send in. It might be the most of a single card that I'm sending. Maybe. I can't ever say this one. Magnum, Meganum, Meganium. Got two of the arts. Pichu. Hard to come across those anymore and cheap. Skarmory. A couple of those bad boys. One Steelix. I think that'll probably grade it at maybe an eight. I think an eight. But I wanted to send at least one Togetic, a couple Typhlosions, which are very popular from the set. Then we have some non-hollow first edition that I've been sending on 
for like five years from a map from a set I had I had all the rares and stuff common so I pulled more than on hollows out so there's a lot here like all the rares that I had left all first edition you're talking like trainers and whatnot so sending all those even a couple, three or four of the energies. Now I've got some of them I already graded. These were co extra copies. I've got a Murkrow, Murkrow on on the bay right now. Got a 10 first edition, non-hollow, but it is rare, so people need it for their master PSA 10 set. On to block number five, which is moving. Which I guess I mislabeled them. I just opened six when I should open five. This is gym challenge. So those of you who are wondering where the heck happened to gym challenge, we've got some gym challenge. We got light Arcanine, Brock's nine tails, Blaine's Charizard, which there are two more in the end of this video that weren't put in order when I entered the form. There's Machamp, Nido King, Persian, Koga's Beedrill, Ditto, Ditto, Raichu, Raichu, Missy's Golduck, Missy's Gyarados. Remember, set you sell first edition nines in this for like 50 bucks. Another one of those. It's a sweet art. It's better than Giovanni's Gyarados art. Glad they did gave Missy that. Sabrina, it's Alakazam, four of them. Blaine Hollow, uh, a few of those. One Sabrina Hollow, so we don't quite have all the trainers. First edition Doug Trio and Nido Queen, a couple non first edition rares, Golduck and Jolteon, and then some non hollow trainers Blaine, Giovanni. I think there's a Koga in here, and some of the other trainers. Which some of these a lot of these trainers are first edition because they're from the same like master sets. So when I opened like this big haul we got back then. Had a lot of Gym Challenge, Team Rocket, Neo Genesis, First Edition, Mint. Like boxes. All of them were open, but the, all the cards were in it, Mint. And I had a lot of the non-hollow First Edition rares I never graded because they weren't worth it. But now more of those are becoming harder to find. So we're going to send a few more of those in. See what we can get. On to number seven. So we're going back to the Neo. Neo Discovery. We got Espeon, Espeon, Hitmontop, Houndoom, Houndoom, Houndor, Kabutops, Scissor, Umbreon, not the best condition, but an easy sell, Unknown, eh? Ursa, Ursaring, Umbreon non hollow, rare. One of these is first edition, very hard to see the black on black. Now we're on Neo Rev already, Amphro. So you can see, as we get into some of the, the rare, more covered sets, I have a little bit less. But I did have a lot of gym I was already sitting on, which is becoming just as popular in Neo in terms of like demand and stuff like that. So we got Blissey, Celebi. We got Intei, which is the first edition. I don't know where I got that. Probably going to grade an 8. Magneton. The, the, the first editions are through the roof right now. Now we're already on Neo Destiny, Dark Scissor. Light Azmaril, Light Dragonair, so we only like two hollows from that set. Haunter, a few uh, Light Flareons, I love grading these three dogs from the, the Destiny set. Light Jolteon, which is probably the most popular of the arts with the Togepi. Light Vaporeon, there's like four or five of them. And then a little secret surprise, I forgot these hollows are in here. Four Shining Noctiles, these are probably going to grade out between six and eight, these four. Got them for a pretty good price, though. It's hard to find them, even ungraded. And Dark Gengar, Neo Destiny. I bought one D Neo Destiny Japanese pack, and I pulled the Dark Gengar. Pretty lucky. So it's pack fresh, but looks like a 9. On to the last one I sealed up before the other cards. So one more thing to undo, and i got to redo later to send out. And one of my rubber bands broke, so now I am in the hole. Number eight, starting off with Legendary Collection, Reverse Alakazam, a few hollows from LC, not a lot of reverses, just regular hollows, hard to find the reverses of the rare ones, 
Mewtwo is a sick rare reverse, but this is regular. RD1 the Expedition. A few regular hollows. Easy to come by the reverses, but the regular hollows are always oversold. Like even when I was selling Aquapolis in tens, the people didn't want to pay a lot for a 10, but the hollows themselves were so expensive and it just never added up. Especially for the rarer boxes. It's so a lot of Blastroids and Venusaur. This is the reverse. Charizard, which we just graded in a 10 in our last return. This is not a 10, going to be a 10, but a good non-hollow. Dragonite. A few reverse Gengars. And Mew. Mew 2. War Turtle. Bulbasaur. The Pikachu. Which these E series to early EX series and full arts are just rough. Our full reverses are rough getting getting good grades. So this, we're just going through all the E series. I've graded a lot of Flareons and 10 non hollows I got a couple Jolteons, Kabutops, Moltres. I have in a 10 right now, and I think there's a bunch of Raikus back here. So a lot of non hollow rares in there, but those usually grade out real, real well and are usually a pretty good profit margin. So now these are the ones I didn't group up, but we're still working in chronological order right now. And in the very end, there's probably like 20 that I'm going to just have to add to the end of the order that are not chronological order. So we got... A promo I've been grading now. Just recently I picked up a few. Meowth, Black Star. Second Black Star promo from E Series. Lapras EX, which I've been selling these EXs like hotcakes. And I've been selling these ones for years. I get a lot of Ruby and Sapphire, a lot of lower end pricing ones, but always turn a nice profit on those. So the tens have really floated up, the nines have really floated up, been selling them from about 85 to 100 depending on which one. And these are the lower end ones, like I said. We're not getting the, the Charizards, the Blastoids, the Fire Red Leaf Green, the Team Rocket ones anymore. But here is one Hitmonchan. Probably going to pull a 7, but still people are looking for that. Then we've got the Moltres. I did grade an Articuda 10. Not, I sold it not too long ago for like 115. That's probably floating up. Floating up. So, so Charmander, Reverses, Refractors from Fire Red Leaf Green, Bubblesaur Pop Series. This I pulled in my 88 pack, Save from the Flood, Flareon. Didn't send it because I didn't think it would grade a 10, even though it's packed fresh, but sending it now. And there's Jolteon, Raichu Delta, Rayquaza Delta, Blastoids Delta, Charmander Reverse from Crystal Guardians. A couple more of those. These are getting harder and harder to find, these, these awesome reverse set reverses with the little symbols on them. Always been buying and selling those. They are hard to get 10s, but when I was getting 10s, they would sell for 40 to 50 for a card that costs like a couple bucks. So continuing with EX series, we got Groudon, Jirachi, Tyranitar, Rayquaza, Tyranitar again. Three Mew Gold Stars. Average condition, probably sevens, maybe an eight, but we got them for a good price. Charizard, Umbreon Prime, so we're getting really new now. Meowth, 2012, Boundaries Cross. And then we're hitting that lick of Mega Charizards that I've been buying. Here's like pretty much all of them. Those are finally trending back up. You can still get them if you're still looking actively. For 20 to 25, grade of 10, you're pulling like at least 80 bucks right now. That's better than the 30 we were pulling. Mewtwo from Evolutions. Got a couple more of those to get rid of. I got like a few of these Charmander promos from Burning Shadows or whatever. Just a real nice base set. Anything, you know, Gen 1, Starters hollows sell then i put these at the end the southern isles which these are jumping the sealed product is jumping and the hollows and, and nines and tens are jumping always a really nice set always really undervalued it's only like uh i think an 18 card set if you're not familiar with it little palm trees a set logo it's just pokemon having fun at the beach and they come in like single like three they can get three in one pack you can still buy them for like 15 bucks but if you buy the one you can see the card, so like you say, oh, this has the hollow and it has the hollow Mew, which is the most expensive from the set. You know you're getting what you're getting. So the, the ones that are non-hollow packs, a little bit cheaper, but you still buy them. They're still, I guess, reasonable, but then you've got to open them and hope they grade a 10, and they're real, like, flimsy. So I've never opened one. I have one, but never opened it. So these are the ones that I'm sending in. There might be a couple more, but I'm just going to show you the end, that are not in order. So we got the W stamp Pikachu, Mr. Mime. A couple more EXs. These are just going to throw in Legendary Collection. Just going to throw these in at the end of the order instead of going back and editing and trying to add to the quantities because you're not obligated to do it like that. It's just easier for me to input. I feel like they'll make less mistakes if they're all grouped together. 
Um, but say like someone sent me these cards to send, I'd want to know which which ones were part of their order. So like when Tort used to send the same card, his cards would be in the second part of the order, so we knew who got what. But if you're sending them all yourself, you might as well group them. So that is the end. 20 minutes. Did as quick as possible. That turns out to be about 500 cards, probably. The grading special is 750 right now. So you're talking like 38, 3900 return shipped. Um, not going to send any sports because they, they ban you from doing it together now. After I did it one time, not me personally, but they just set it across the board. But they're running a really great special. But they have worn, like I said, four weeks before they even process it. So you're going to be like, where is my mail? Why is it not, not updated? But that's they're, they're trying to re-jump the business by giving them a low price and waiving the 100 minimum for bulk, which is only 25. So we're sitting at 500. So we're a lot times over. That is the PSA. I'm going to be building more and more mail coming in, but I want to get this out. And we will see the returns in about six months. Now we're going to go take a walk, Memorial Day, maybe get some gelato and celebrate. So thank you guys for watching. Check out the links below, the shops, the Macari, the eBay, the Amazon, and join the Discord so we can chat Pokemon. Thank you guys for watching.